Hey guys, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in as I read the word today. We are on day 299 of Bible in one year and I'm going to be reading Luke chapter 11 and chapter 12. I just finished reading Luke chapter 10 yesterday where I read about Jesus at the house of Martha and Mary. And everyone, please stick around till after the reading. I will have a video for anybody to click on that wants to invite Jesus Christ into their heart as their personal Lord and Savior. And you guys can repeat that prayer after me if you would like to do so. And please, you guys tune into my premieres at 10, 15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 9, 15 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. And just gives us um, a way to... Um, listen to the readings together. All right, let's read from the New King James Version. The Word of God reads, Now it came to pass as he was praying in a certain place that he seized, that one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. So he said to them, When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day by day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And he said to them, Which of you shall have a friend and go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has come to me on this journey and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within and say, Do not trouble me. The door is now shut and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give to you. I say to you, though he will not rise and give to him because he is friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks find, and to him who knocks it will be opened. If a son asks for bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent instead of a fish? Or if he asks for an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who who ask him and he was casting out a demon and it was mute so it was when the demon had gone out that the mute spoke and the multitudes marveled but some of them said he cast out demons by Beelzebub the ruler of the demons others testing him sought from him a sign from heaven but he knowing their thoughts said to them Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falls. If Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? Because you say, I cast out demons by Beelzebub, and if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace his goods are in peace but when a stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoils he who is not with me is against me and he who does not gather with me scatters when an unclean spirit goes out of a man he goes through dry places seeking rest and finding none he says i will return to my house from which i came and when he comes, he finds it swept and put under an order. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. And it happened as he spoke these things that a certain woman from the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that nursed you. But he said, More than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. And while the crowds were thickly gathered together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, and no one will be given to it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. 
For as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so also the Son of Man will be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and indeed a greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh will rise up in the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and indeed a greater than Jonah is here. No one, when he has a lit, has lit a lamp, puts it in a secret place or under a basket, but on a lampstand, that those who come in may see the light. The lamp of the body is the eye, therefore your eye is good, your whole body also is full of light. But when your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Therefore, take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, the whole body will be full of light, as when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light. And as he spoke, a certain Pharisee asked him to dine with him. So he went and sat down to eat. When the Pharisee saw it, he marveled that he had not first washed before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you, Pharisee, make the outside of your cup and dish clean, but your inward part is full of greed and wickedness. Foolish ones, did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But rather give alms of such things as you have, then indeed all things are clean to you. But woe to the Pharisees, for you tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs, and pass by justice and the love of God. These you ought to have done without leaving the others undone. Woe to the Pharisees, for you love the best seats in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like graves which are not seen, and the men who walk over them are not aware of them. Then one of the lawyers answered him and said to him, Teacher, by saying these things you reproach us also. And he said, Woe to you also, lawyers, for you load men with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe to you, for the tomb for you build the tombs of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. In fact, you bear witness that you approve the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them. And you build your tombs. Therefore, the wisdom of God also said, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they will kill and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required from this generation." from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the temple. Yes, I say to you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe to you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter in yourselves, and those who were entered in you hindered. And as he said these things to them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to assail him vehemently and to cross-examine him about many things, lying in wait for him, and seeking to catch him, and something he might say, that they might accuse him. Luke chapter 12, verse 1 through 59. In the meantime, when an innumerable multitude of people had gathered together so that they trampled one another, he began to say to his disciples, First of all, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy, for there is nothing covered that will be revealed, nor hidden that will be known. Therefore, whatever you have spoken in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have spoken in the ear in inner rooms will be proclaimed on the housetops. And I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins? And not one of them is forgotten before God. But the very heads of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Also, I say to you, 
Whoever confesses me before men, him the Son of God also will confess before the angels of God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But to him who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven. Now when they bring you to the synagogues and magistrates and authorities, do not worry about how or what you should answer or what you should say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Then one from the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to them, Man who made me a judge or an arbitrator over you. And he said to them, Take heed and beware of covetedness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of things he possesses. Then he spoke a parable to them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man yielded plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, since I have no room to store my crops? So he said, I will do this. I will put down my barns and build greater, and there I will store all my crops and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul will be required of you. Then those will, when those, then those will those things be which you have provided. So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Then he said to his disciples, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? If you, then, are not able to do the least, why are you anxious for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothes the grass, which today is in the field and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you? O oh, you of little faith, do not seek what you should eat or what you should drink, nor have any anxious mind. For all these things the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows that you need these things. But seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and give alms. Provide yourselves money bags which do not grow old, a treasure in the heavens that does not fail. There no thief approaches, nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, your heart will be also. Let your waist be girded, and your lamps burning, and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master, when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself, and have them sit down to eat, and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them, so, blessed are those servants. But know that, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Then Peter said to him, Lord, do not speak this parable only to us or to all people. And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his master will make ruler over his household, to give them their portion of food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. But if that servant says in his heart, My master is delaying his coming, and begins to beat the male and female servants, and to eat and drink and be drunk, 
The master of the servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant who knew his master's will and did not prepare himself or do according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. But he who did not know yet committed things deserving of stripes shall be beaten with few. For everyone to whom much is given from him, much will be required. And to whom much has been committed of him, they will ask the more. I came to send fire on the earth and how I wish it were already kindled. But I have a baptism to be baptized with and how distressed I am till it is accomplished. Do you suppose that I came to give peace on earth? I tell you, not at all, but rather division. For from now on, five and one house will be divided, three against two and two against three. Father will be divided against son and son against father, mother against daughter and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Then he also said to the multitudes, Whenever you see a cloud rising out of the west, immediately you say, A shower is coming, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, you say, There will be hot weather, and there is. Hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and the earth, but how is it you do not discern this time? Yes, and why? Even of yourself do you not judge what is right. When you go with your adversary to the magistrate, make every effort along the way to settle with him, lest he drag you to the judge. The judge deliver you to the officer, and the officer throw you into prison. I tell you, you shall not depart from there till you have paid the very last might. And that concludes today's reading. Now, I want to touch on Luke chapter 11, verse 28, which says, More than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. What this is saying is that God always promises to bless joyful obedience. We delight God's heart when we choose to rely on the power of the Holy Spirit to do what he commands us to do. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here with me on Time with Tiffy. If there's anything that you took away from the reading, please do share. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's reading. Now, I said at the beginning, if Jesus Christ is not your personal Lord and Savior and you'd like him to be, that I'd have a prayer for you to click on after the reading. And please keep in mind that if you do decide to pray this prayer, that there are more steps that you should take growing forward as a new Christian to strengthen your faith and walk with the Lord. It's all about that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That's what the Lord wants with you. He wants to have that personal, intimate relationship with you. And if you trust um, Jesus Christ into your heart as personal Lord and Savior, he will never leave you or forsake you. So please, if you want to accept him now, please click on this video right here. Pray the prayer after me and message me so that we can talk about the next steps you should take going forward as a new Christian. And please join me again on, on my channel tomorrow. And remember to hit that notification bell, comment, like, and subscribe to Time with Tiffy, where we enjoy reading books of the Bible, doing Bible in one year. You will have a blessed day, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Until next time.